just past the tree here in our 34th episode of Let's Play Mask of the Betrayer, uh, there's another set of Telthors running around, as well as this Telthor Berserker. I use that opportunity to rest. I can recast my buffs uh, just to avoid the embarrassing death that I had. This Berserker will tell you that uh, there are some Frost Giants here who have taken over. But I don't want to talk to him yet. I want to talk to him after I've completed the little affair with the Frost Giants. Now, if you're really desperate for spirit energy, you could use Provoke uh, on one of these Telthors here, and uh, that will make it hostile, and then you can fight it, and then you can just devour it. That'll give you more than using Suppress. But with four spirits plus an elemental, you can get, I think probably with Oku's bonus, uh, 13 or 14 spirit energy just sitting there. And uh, you lose 8 every time you rest if you're at minimum craving. So you can just rest and recast and obviously things will attack you sometimes when you rest. But you're resting, you'll have plenty of stuff to work with. Here's our friend, the Frost Giant Jarl. And he uh, more or less says that they've invaded and he talks about shiny element, uh, el animal friends, which means the Telfors. Um, and uh, he says we should go talk to them first before talking to him. Okay. Let's go talk to our shiny happy people. Well, I don't know how happy, but they're shiny. And you can ask him about the Frost Giants, and you can say, well, I'm going to just get rid of them. And he says... That's not everything. You have to restore the barrier, and it takes spirit energy to do that. Now, you can diplomatically suggest that uh, he will, um, you know, be eaten, um, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're too nice. I mean, frankly, all it takes to do it is a volatile spirit essence, so if you use diplomacy on him, you can devour him and get a volatile spirit essence. Um, I've got some. I'm never, probably never going to get eight enough to combine, so I'm just going to use one. And um, you can ask about the Frost Giants, and more or less they were exiled, and he was exiled in a challenge. And, well, you know, um, apparently he exiled everyone but himself, so he's not much of a leader, but... And uh, apparently he won through this challenge system, and you can ask about the challenge system, and uh, apparently the challenge system allows anybody uh, to challenge to be leader of the tribe. So we're going to challenge to be leader of the tribe. And more or less there's a, not never ending, but there are probably 20 or 30 of these frost giants that are going to come in and uh, try and take the crown, which is you know, sitting on the ground there. And every time one of them picks it up, you uh, have to kill him. Well, you don't actually kill them, you just injure them badly enough that they give up. And being frost giants, of course, I'm going to want to use my fire spells. And ice storms, obviously, can be utterly useless. As you can see, they're not particularly difficult. Incendiary Cloud, if there was ever a reason to cast it, this would be this fight. However, I don't have the spell because it's really not very useful. Uh, it's not ma there are not many times when you're just sort of holding your ground against a huge number of enemies. This is one of them. But... The, there's a fight in... Um, what is it? Hordes of the Underdark, which is one of the campaigns for the original Neverworlds. Um, it's, it's the epic level campaign. And... Uh, there's a fight which is specifically just a huge wave of weak enemies. I mean, like, 
a hundred of them. And, uh, so... This is not quite the same. These are not total trash enemies. But they're not exactly... They're nowhere near as hard as those trolls, that's for sure. So there are a lot more of them. You don't have to try and pick up the crown. You just have to essentially knock down everybody who tries to take it. And it says there's a, a counter there for rounds until Frost Giant victory. Essentially, if they hold on to the crown for 20 rounds, um, they win, which obviously is bad. Um, I've never actually had it happen, so... And obviously they die very quickly, so them holding on to their work crown for even one round is unusual. Oh, this one just succeeded in knocking me down. So I'm gonna quicken cast a foundation of stone. Oh, actually, it may be somewhat more difficult to do this since there's only me. Uh, normally, when you have a party of people going after them, they uh, they just die as fast as they show up, um, which isn't too different from what's happening here. Now, you see back here, this is Frost Giant Jarl. This is the old leader. I'm just going to drop a, a different spell in here for the fun of it. And they're just now making their way through my shadows. So I'll just do a quick and recast of Mirror Image again. And uh, our friendly Frost Giant Jarl here, I'm going to give him a nice little send-off. <laughs> and he says, worst thing to happen to a Jarl. And now he's, this is the second time he's been defeated. And, uh, well, now that we are the Jarl, we are going to order them to be go back into exile. This is like deja vu all over again for them. But I'm also going to order them to apologize to all the towns they ravaged on the way. And uh, that gives us a couple points towards good. And, um, yeah. For doing that, you get a, a history feat, which gives you a permanent plus one to charisma, which isn't useless. Actually, if you're playing a character that's aiming for the epic Divine Might feat, which requires 21 strength and 21 charisma, which is sometimes not so easy to do, uh, that's a big help. But between Gan's bonus and you know my innate charisma and that, I'm up to a, um, a 25 base charisma and a plus 6 item. The uh, Every two ranks of charisma, so I, I, that plus 1 didn't actually do me anything, uh, Gives increases my spell DCs and everything, so it's it's still handy. Uh, that works for both Spirit Shaman and Sorcerer. Though the Spirit Shaman spells, um, whether or not you're able to cast them at all, is based on your wisdom. Over here at this sacred pool, there's some pure sanctuary water, which we're going to need for another quest. But one of the things we'll need is to just drop a Spirit Essence in here. Anyone will do. Volatile is fine. To reinstate the shield and finish off this little one of the problems in the forest. Now that we've used up quite a lot of spells and we've gotten out of this area, let's go chat with our berserker friend and see what he has to say. Before we chat with him though, I'm just going to rest up. says thanks. I'm going to try and keep these videos a 
little shorter. Some of them have actually gotten into sort of almost two videos in length. And, you know, standard length is about 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut this off here, and next time we're going to investigate the southeast corner of the Ashen.